After successfully landing on the moon, ISRO now has its eyes set on the sun. The Indian Space Research Organization will launch its first mission to study the sun at 11.50 a.m. on September 2nd from Sriharikota. The Aditya L1 spacecraft will be launched using ISRO's workhorse, the PSLV rocket. So what is the Aditya L1 mission all about? And why does ISRO want to study the sun? Let me explain. Aditya L1 is India's first space-based mission to study the sun. Just to be clear, ISRO has no intention to land its spacecraft on the sun because it's not just physically possible given that the sun has no solid surface, but ISRO also doesn't want its spacecraft to be burned to a crisp. Before we get into the Aditya L1 mission, it's important to understand why ISRO wants to study the sun. The sun is the closest star to the earth and is about 150 million kilometers away. The sun is basically a hot glowing ball of hydrogen and helium gases and is a source of energy for our solar system. Without this solar energy, life on earth as we know it cannot exist. There are two broad reasons why ISRO wants to study the sun. One, to understand stars in our galaxy as well as others. Because the sun is the closest star to the earth, it lends itself to be studied in much greater detail compared to others. ISRO hopes by studying the sun, we learn much more about stars in the Milky Way as well as in other galaxies. Two, to understand solar eruptions and its effects. The sun sometimes sees solar eruptions. Basically, it unleashes intense bursts of electromagnetic radiation. Sometimes these solar phenomena are explosive and are directed towards Earth. This can damage satellites around the Earth and as a result, disrupt navigation and communication systems on Earth. An early warning system of such solar eruptions can help scientists take corrective measures in advance. The radiation from solar eruptions can also be dangerous to astronauts. Just FYI, the Earth's natural magnetic field protects us from solar radiation. But both Mars and the Moon don't have this protective shield, which is why it's especially crucial for us to understand these solar events before there's any future human mission to Mars or to the Moon. Scientists cannot study solar eruptions or radiation from the Earth because the Earth's magnetic field doesn't allow for it to pass through, which is why scientists need to go to space to understand these phenomena. This brings me to the Aditya L1 mission. Once the spacecraft is launched, ISRO plans to place it in a halo orbit around the Lagrange Point 1, also known as L1. That's about 1.5 million kilometers away from the Earth. And that's a distance of about 1% from the Earth to the Sun. And it's going to take the spacecraft about 4 months to get to this point. So what is L1? According to NASA, a Lagrange point is a specific location in space where the gravitational forces of two celestial bodies, like the Sun and the Earth, produce enhanced regions of attraction and repulsion. What this means is that a spacecraft can remain at this position with limited fuel consumption. There are a total of five Lagrange points, L1 through to L5. L1, which is one of the closest positions to the Earth, provides an uninterrupted view of the Sun. Its vantage position allows for a spacecraft like Aditya L1 to observe solar activities. The Aditya L1 mission has seven scientific payloads, and these will observe the outer layers of the Sun. Three of these scientific payloads will carry out on-site experiments of particles and fields to help us understand solar eruptions and other phenomena. There have been missions by other countries as well to study the Sun. In fact, the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory satellite launched by the European Space Agency back in 1995 is presently stationed at L1. More recently, the US space agency NASA's Parker Solar Probe made history in 2021 when it became the first spacecraft ever to touch the sun, when it entered the solar atmosphere. While ISRO spacecraft will not come within touching distance, the Althea L1 mission will still be important to understand the secrets of the sun. That's all from me for this week, but before I go, a quick reminder to support independent journalism, you can do so by becoming a member of the News Minute. Also subscribe to our YouTube channels. And as always, if you like this video, hit the like button and share this video with your friends.